I um, spoke on another video about how uh, Gibson uh, don't help things by making things quite confusing. They, they, they've introduced this LPJ um, uh, stripped down model of the Les Paul, which seems to be what I thought the Les Paul Studio was. Which confuses things because there is a, a model called the Les Paul Studio, which is the one, one pickup model. Uh, this is the uh, Epiphone one. It's got a bolt-on neck, you'll notice. As, uh, as you probably know, uh, most of these products have a glued-on neck. Uh, this has had a, a Duncan-designed humbucker installed here. Um, in, in place of the standard humbucker that was in there. Some of them come with P90s. But uh, we've got uh, the Dun Duncan design, which are uh, most people agree just as good as the Seymour Duncan is just as they're made uh, overseas and uh, uh, and they're used on uh, many uh, high high quality guitars anyway we've got, we've got it set clean I believe at the moment coming out of it so that you can configure it in even though you're in at one pickup you can configure it in various ways by maybe putting a a, a push pull switch in instead of the volume control for example and and adding coil coil tapping coil splitting um, phase reversal all that sort of thing which is available uh, it's just a basic at the moment but there's plenty of because of the nature of the wiring there's plenty of uh, configurations available <laughs> Effects you you can uh, fiddle around with the controls uh, and uh, if you feel adventurous change the configuration of the wiring. But uh, I'm just going through an overdrive pedal here. When I'm going to rock out. <laughs>
Get in touch if you need to ask any questions. Thank you very much.